You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. CBC Online. We're visiting with CBC hockey coach John Jost, 1984 graduate. John, 12 years in a row, you guys have been in the Mid-States Finals, uh, St. Louis Blues Challenge Cup. Talk to us about this year's team. Sure, it's a much younger team than we've had in the past. It's a little, uh, little different feel. We've got a lot of kids that'll be down there for the first time, so uh, it's been fun working with them and uh, happy to be back. One of the uh, the athletic directors for SLU had said that SLU is going to be playing the Montreal Canadiens of high school hockey. Uh, talking about those CBC cadets, this is our 12th visit to the finals. Talk about that long run. I mean, that's a great, that's a pretty impressive statistic. Something we're very proud of, you know, being down there 12 years in a row. Um, I will say, though, we've lost two years in a row, so we certainly like to change that. Uh, I know who made that comment, Dick Wayner, who's a former uh, parishioner of mine. So, and a good friend, but uh, yeah, we're excited to be back. And like I said, we've got a lot of kids that haven't been there before, so it's going to be really exciting. Real quick, let's talk about the road to get here. You guys had to bounce back from a pretty scary situation against the Smed. You're down one game uh, to one game nil, and then you had to come back and win the game and the mini game. That was uh, pretty, the mini game actually won in a shootout. Right. Talk about that. Your season was pretty close to the brink there. Well, pretty much it was the toughest road I think we've had ever to get down there. And I thought it was kind of fitting with this group. It's been a challenge for them, you know, all year long. It's, it has not been easy. And uh, for us to play the St. Charles Division champion in the first round, then to Smet in the quarterfinals, uh, basically put the entire season on Glenn Ryan's shoulders in a shootout. He scored to move on, and then we had a freshman, Drew Krogan, score, and then Joe O'Brien shut the door for us to win. It was just as exciting of a series as we've ever had. And then to uh, play Chaminade in the semifinals, who's an outstanding team. It's been a very difficult road, and hopefully it's going to help us next Wednesday. The early line is, you know, you and Slew are uh, really well matched. It's a great matchup. I mean, it's really anything can happen. Talk to us about your opponent. Yeah, they're a very good team. Uh, they've beaten us two out of three times this year, but every game was very close. Um, we know each other very well. There's going to be no surprises. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this will probably be as good of a game as you're going to see. It's going to be probably very similar to three years ago. It can go either way when we play them. The fact that they moved this game to the Scott Trade Center, a lot larger ice service uh, surface, does that have any impact on how you prepare for that game? Not, not necessarily. It's actually the actual rink size is the same as Afton Ice Rink, where we've played oh. them every time. So there's no difference. Uh, we are. I'm glad to get off the big surface like we had at Chesterfield with the 100 foot wide rink. I, I think it's uh, this would be a, a real tight checking game. Two teams that are, you know, are pretty physical and fast, and so it's, it's just going to be a real exciting game for. Them everyone to see and it's on TV and, you know throughout the regions so uh, a lot of people are going to see two very good teams. Talk about the fans I mean you've had great fan support come out I mean some pretty uh, you know treacherous days with the weather but still the guys are coming out supporting the team talk about that how important is that to you guys? Yeah no doubt about it I mean we just we get outstanding support we are a club sport and we uh, our attendance has been outstanding and it's been great in the playoffs and I can't tell you how excited our kids were to play in front of that big crowd against Chaminade. Both games, huge crowds uh, behind us. It's neat. It's neat for these young men to, to be able to play in front of their classmates and I think it's a big part of why they do it. Over the last 15 years you've been you know, coaching the team. How, what have you seen some of the bigger changes in the league? I mean, there's been a lot more competitive, a lot more public schools coming in play. Uh, talk to us about just how hockey has changed here in St. Louis over that time. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we've taken a little dip in the numbers in the last, I'd say, two or three years. But there's, you know, last year was a public school, uh, Hall Central, that beat us. So, um, you know, the St. Charles division is, is always very tough. Uh, but I still think the Metro Conference, the Catholic division, is the toughest. Um, I think it helps us prepare for the playoffs. We have to play each other three times. Um, but right now, I think there's 45 teams in the league, and it, it's uh, the league's very healthy, and, and hockey's uh, on the uprise again in St. Louis. Now, the finals going to be on March 7th, and we're talking here uh, the end of February, so you got a good week to prepare for it. Do you, do you prefer having that time, or would you rather just get right back into it with the, when the adrenaline is still kind of running? Uh, I don't mind the time, actually. Uh, you know, I, like, like I said, if we had to play the game this week, I'd be perfectly fine with it. But if we have the time, we're going to make the most of it. Uh, you know, we've got four or five practices uh, before the game. Uh, you know, we're going to utilize our time well. Uh, we've practiced very well in the last couple of weeks, so it doesn't bother me a bit. You mentioned the uh, the big shootout goal by Glenn Ryan. What are some of the other uh, huge moments that you remember from the season this year? 
Well, I, you know, I think uh, beating Slew the, uh, the second time we played them, I mean, I, to me, they were the preseason favorite. I, you know, I, it was always fun to beat them. Uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, that whole the Smet series, uh, the way we started out, and not just the shootout, but just the game, I thought we played so well. Uh, the Chaminade series was great, uh, very, very enjoyable. Uh, you know, like I said, I think this team, more than any other, has improved from day one. I think a lot of it is our youth and guys just hungry to, to get back down here. And guys are anxious to get back to the game. So it's uh, it, it's been great. We talk about how the league has changed over the past 15 years. How, what about you as a, a coach now, a veteran coach? How, what is your coaching style? How has that changed over the years? Well, you know, I think all our coaches, I mean, we uh, times have changed. There's no doubt about it. You know, we, uh, you know, you, you got to have a little more of a common sense approach. Um, kids are different. Um, there's more going on with these kids have a lot of other hockey they play so you got to be a little more flexible as coaches and, and all we ask is that the players and the, and the parents are the same and I think uh, I think all in all this year it's, it's worked out pretty well. Now you won two state uh, championship or two or St. Louis Blues Challenge Cups uh, as a player when you were playing for CBC in 1983 and 84 correct? Actually no I won one. Won one of them yeah, okay. As a player I uh, was my junior year we won and then my senior year we lost. But to be a champion, that's something that, uh, you know, to be able to talk to the boys about what that means. What does it mean to be a champion and what has it meant for you? Sure. I mean, it's something you'll remember the rest of your life. I mean, you, you're going to have your, yeah, you're going to win games in your, your career. But I think to win a championship uh, at CBC with your best friends on the team, I still, uh, my friends and I, we still go into the gym and look at the banner with all our names on it together. And it, you'll never, you may not ever get a chance to have something like that uh, happen for you. So uh, we tell the kids that all the time. And I think, I think they're getting it. So look, going back to the slew game in the finals, what are the kind of couple keys of that game? What do you guys need to do to be able to bring that uh, bring that trophy home? Well, we cannot turn the puck over. We can't turn the puck over in any in any area because they're so quick on transition. They'll kill, you know, they'll get us. Uh, they've got three very good lines and a pretty balanced attack on defense. Uh, their goalie's been very good against us. So um, you know, we got to get a lot of pucks at net. We got to get a lot of traffic in front of their goalie, and uh, we just absolutely have to minimize our turnovers. Okay, that's the St. Louis Blues Challenge Cup, CBC SLU. Can't ask for a better matchup. That's on March 7th at the Scott Trade Center. And Coach John Jost, wish you luck. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you very much. CBC, men for tomorrow, brothers for life.